Hey everybody, in this episode we're going to talk about the recursive option that you often see with commands or it will often be required if you want them to work. So you will see this when you are copying directories or removing directories and maybe some other places as well. Little bug. <laughs> Get out of my face. Subscribe. So taking a look at our current directory, we have a directory here, docs, that I'm going to take a look at. If we wanted to change the name of this, we would say MV docs, give it some other name such as docs2, and that works just fine. Docs was renamed to docs2. However, if you wanted to do the same thing with copy instead of move, let's first rename it back to docs. So we have docs. If we wanted to do the same thing where we said copy docs and we'll make this docs2. So now we have two directories, docs and docs2. This is actually going to give us an error, hyphen r not specified. So when you say man cp and you scroll down to hyphen r, this copies directories recursively. And the idea of recursion or anything being recursive is the same thing happening over and over again. So the idea of the recursion here is that we want that same concept to happen with all the directories inside. So not only do we want to copy the directory, but we want to issue the copy for all the directories inside of it. And this is one of the things that is required for the copy command. So it's really easy to fix. All you have to do is just to put hyphen R and that works. So now we have docs and we have docs two. Simple as that. This is also going to happen when we want to remove directories. So if we say rm docs, it gives us a problem. And it doesn't give us as nice of a response here where up here it says what to do. Here it just says as a directory and then you're uh, left with, hmm, what do I do? So then you might have to go Google or figure out what to do. This doesn't happen with files. You know, if we rm junk, it just goes away. So if we want to remove a directory, we just put hyphen r and then throw in the directory name docs2 and we'll just go ahead and get rid of docs as well. Now there's another command you might run into when you're working with directories and that is rmdir, remove directory. So rmdir works a little bit differently because you don't actually have to specify the hyphen r to remove stuff. So if we create a directory, we'll just call it docs, we can rm this with the hyphen r and that works fine and it no longer exists. To do this with the rmdir command, you do not have to say hyphen r. So we would just say rmdir docs and that works the same way. So why exactly is there two commands to do the same thing? One where you have to specify an option and one where you do not. Well, rmdir is very special because it cannot remove a directory with stuff inside of it. And this can save your butt if you're trying to remove empty directories only. So if you want to remove directories with stuff in them, you'll need to use the rm-r command. So let's take a look at an example. We'll say mkdir docs, and we'll just let's just create a file in here, and we'll just call this test. And that's needs to go in the docs directory. So now inside of docs, we have this test file. I probably could have just said touch test, but eh, whatever. Let's go ahead and say rmdir docs. Failed to remove docs directory not empty. So this can be very handy if you want to skim through a directory and delete all empty directories. So to show you this, let's go into this docs directory and I'm just going to say mkdir dir1, dir2, dir3, dir4, dir5, and then I'm going to just touch some files. We'll say dir1 slash file, dir3 slash file. So I created a file in dir1 and dir3, and I can say rmdir asterisk which is a wild card. There's all kinds of crazy things you can do with these, but this will basically represent everything. And in general, it's very dangerous. You will see this in horror stories with the RM command where people RM hyphen RF asterisk, 
and that'll basically delete anything. Anything in that working directory is gone. So it's pretty dangerous. That's why rmdir, remove directory, can save the day. When I hit enter, you can see it fails to remove directory one and directory three, whereas everything else is now gone. If instead we said rm hyphen r asterisk, that's just gonna remove everything. No questions asked. There's also the F that I mentioned, hyphen F. So you might see RM hyphen RF. The F, which we're not gonna get into the details of in this video, it stands for force and will be a little bit more forceful in the remove, we'll remove more files even if they're read only. It's a pretty dangerous option and it'll bypass the interactive option. So it's not gonna ask you if you wanna delete anything. Overall, it's a pretty dangerous option, but still kind of cool. So that is my video on removing, remove directory, and all that other junk. Hopefully it was helpful. Stay tuned for the next one. Appreciate you. If you made it this far in the series, you're doing really good. Just want to encourage you to keep going and encourage you to slap the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, like the video. Peace out.